Hello and welcome to our next video about the piezoelectric effect or piezoelectric switches. Yeah. Piezoelectric switch. So, what is the piezoelectric, the piezoelectric effect? Yeah. The piezoelectric effect usually applies on some crystal. Uh, crystal form here yeah. if do if they do have a special a special form these 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 crystals yeah then they might be in hexagonal shape yeah so there is here some atoms which for the binding lend some some electrons so they appear to be plus atoms yeah and the other atoms which did the binding, yeah, borrowed the atom, yeah, they're the minor, minus atoms. Yeah. And if this is, for instance, a hexagonal, hexagonal crystal, yeah, they will organize themselves in such a way. Yeah. The total charge is, of course, zero. The total char charge is of course zero. Okay. Now let's have a let's have a look on the balance point. Let's have a look on the balance point of our plus charges. The balance point of our plus charges is here somewhere. Okay. Now let's have a look on the balance point of our Schwerpunkt is this, yeah? balance point of our negative charges. The balance point of our negative charges is also here. Okay, So they are nah, little, little feather, fly away or die. Ah, die. <laughs> Still here. Uh, they are at the same. They are at the same position. Yeah? Now I apply some force. Okay, suddenly the crystal is deforming. Yeah, what means the plus things are moving together. Yeah, and the minus are also moving together. Yeah? This crystal now seems to be pressed to each other. Okay. If I'm now looking at the balance point of these charges, I realize one is here yeah, and the other one is here. It moved, the balance point moved, and suddenly I have here a distance between the two balance points, the positive and the negative balance point, and this, this distance means I see at the surface, somewhere is the surface of the crystal, I see at the surface of the crystal suddenly a voltage. Yeah? Suddenly there is a voltage, yeah? very small voltage. Yeah. Piezoelectric voltage there. Yeah. That's the piezoelectric effect. Okay. That's the piezoelectric effect. Uh, Apply some force to piezoelectric material and you will receive voltage. Or you will receive, since the voltage is very low, we call it charge. The charges will change. And this change of charges. is some constant multiplied by the force. Okay, This is the piezoelectric constant. Piezoelectric constant depending on the material I'm using. There are many, many materials out there which do have uh, piezoelectric properties, yeah? which do show this piezoelectric effect. Yeah? So there is a crystal, a quartz crystal, yeah? mountain crystal, 
there is a uh, tourmaline in English this is uh, shorelight yeah. there are different types of ceramics which do show this so if I'm now having such piezoelectric material and something so applies force to it I measure I can measure okay there must be something on yeah there must be something on and I can switch yeah? now it's switching yeah? piezoelectric then it's a piezoelectric switch using the piezoelectric uh, effect okay? interesting is that this piezoelectric effect is also can also be used in reverse so if I apply a voltage here the uh, crystal will deform yeah? this is also often often used in actuators for instance for instance high pressure pumps in the fuel injection system of some diesel engines are piezoelectric material inside another another thing we also have used which was using this piezoelectric crystal yeah without without knowing it is a piezoelectric crystal i show you now what i mean these things here you remember this yeah this was the buzzer from the Arduino. Okay. Buzzer from the Arduino. There is a piezoelectric crystal inside, and this will, this is what we hear. This makes the swinging. Okay? Working according to this principle. Like I said, there are many, there are many piezoelectric materials out there. We can use it as a switch as well. This is the function. We need a special amplifier this for this, a charge amplifier, which is working which is working with uh, also an operational amplifier but with not uh, resistors but with, with capacitors you don't need to know in detail just know we need a special amplifier for this because it's so low this, 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 this uh, charges are very low so it has to be really 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 high input resistance yeah? And then it's called charge amplifier. This instrument input resistance is usually is usually a capacitor. Piezoelectric switch. This is how this is working. Next time we are talking about measurement of length, length measurement. So not really if something there or not there, yeah, binary information. Now we really measure measure length. Yeah? For this video, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.